Hi, I'd like to show you how to derive the potential divider equation, which is an equation for determining the potential difference across a resistor that's in series with another resistor. What we're going to do is consider this circuit here. We've got two resistances, R1 and R2. I'm just using fixed resistors here, but the same things would apply for problem solving with thermistors, LDRs, because all they're doing is adding another resistance in there. So if that was a thermistor, same rules would apply. So what, what we actually know in our circuits, we know the input voltage, we know the resistances, we want to determine V1, for example. So let's write in things that we were interested in. We have V1 here, V2 here, and the current in the circuit we'll call I. Now, because this is a series circuit, the current through R1 will be I, the current through R2 will also be I. So, same currents through everything. What we're going to do to actually derive our equation is use our knowledge of series circuits where the individual potential differences will add up to the total input and a liberal helping of Ohm's law. So, let's write down our equations first. We've got V is equal to V1 plus V2, summing up the PDs, and if we apply Ohm's law to this first resistor, V1 will equal I times R1, equals I times R1, and V2 equals I R2. So we have our equations here, one, two, and three. Okay, apologies for that, had to charge the pen. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this equation as a base and substitute for V1 and V2 into it. So V equals V1 plus V2, which is equal to I R1 plus I R2. So I made those two substitutions there into V1 and V2. We've got a common I term there, so we can group those. We've got I R1 plus R2. Okay, so we're gonna use this equation to make a substitution for I in these two equations here. So I'm going to write this equation in terms of I. So I is equal to um, V over R1 plus R2. So the current is essentially is voltage over the total resistance. So you could actually arrive at that using Ohm's law for the overall circuit, knowing that the total resistance is R1 and R2. That's an alternative method. Right, so we've got that equation. Now what we're gonna do is write down equation two, and we're gonna write down the potential divide equation in terms of determining V1. So we wanna know what V1 is. V1 equals I times R1, and since we have this expression for I, we substitute that in here. So this equation then becomes V over R1 plus R2. I'll put that in brackets so that you can see that I substituted it, multiplied by R1. And so we can say that V1 is equal to the input voltage multiplied by R1 over the total resistance. The sum of the resistors, because it's a series, is the total resistance. So there's our expression. We have an equation for V1, and it's equal to the input voltage multiplied by this ratio of the resistances. In this case, the resistor we want to know the voltage across divided by the total resistance. And we can see the units here will cancel out because we've got resistance over resistance. That will give us no units here. So the, but on both sides we've got voltage, uh, voltage units, yeah. Okay, if we want to do, if we want to know what V2 is, it's obviously gonna be the same as this, except it's going to be R2 on top. And I'll just prove that to you very quickly. We have I R2, that's from equation three here. So I R2, make the same substitution, V over R1 plus R2, substituting that for I, multiplied by R2. So V2 will equal V times R2 over some of the resistors. Same thing applies in terms of units and so on. So there you go, there's your potential divider equation. It's the resistor of interest divided by the total resistance multiplied by the input voltage. That's your potential divider. 